Um, I have um, one sector of my family who don't just not believe in God, but are totally against God. And that family, um, my niece, her son, who was six at the time, was diagnosed with leukaemia. This is over a year ago. And he's been in and out of hospital, he's had chemo, he's had everything um, to try and get rid of this leukaemia. During that time, I asked for prayer from members of Emmanuel. My mum's church and friends were praying. My mum and I were praying over the phone regularly. And just to reiterate what Susan said about the power of prayer, and, and the first line of the first song we sang today, if you call, I will answer you. God does answer you. About two months ago, he was, we thought he was in remission, um, but they couldn't get his temperature down and he was readmitted into hospital and for a couple of weeks they could not get his temperature down and they said the leukaemia had returned and they didn't know what the outcome would be. So you can imagine the prayers got fiercer. Um, and, you know, I said, God, why are you letting this happen? You know, you said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Please, you know, make him well, take him home, do whatever, but don't let him suffer anymore. And then suddenly, um, a couple of weeks ago, he was given a lumbar puncture and a bone marrow test, and there was no sign of leukemia. Wow. 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 He is so good. My niece doesn't believe it was anything to do with God. She thought they got the diagnosis wrong, but my mum and I know that it was. So praise be to God, give him the glory. Amen.